Hey guys and welcome to Cryplay's Firewatch. This is a game based on the concept of, hey, I gotta watch for fires in the forest. At least that's what I think so. I've seen trailers for it for a while now and I was like, hey, that game looks really nice. And, well, it's out now, so I can judge that for myself instead of just making assumptions like everyone can do if they want to. I'm gonna start the video game. Oh. Uh, okay, you see, she's about 20. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You're drunk. So, what's your, you know, major? Are you, you're pretty. Um, let's start off slow. You slur the word major and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology. Was that a burn? You ask. She says definitely. Where did you hurt your feelings? She asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you're Julia's boyfriend. That's romance right there. Aw, oh, heck yeah. I'm in an elevator. I have a backpack. My sensitivity's too high. Infinitely better. Alright. Are you my truck? Day for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a few of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's a badass. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna have to go for the Shepherd. I've had a Beagle before. You like to dig and run away a lot. And Mayhem, that's a great name. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m. And the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple little idiots. That'd be nice. I'd like that. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are gonna be screwed up enough. It's probably best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Well, aren't you a pretty sight for sore eyes? Bear country. It's kind of like bad country, but prettier. Really prettier. Holy crap, dude. She willikers. 1980. 
It's Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Hmm. So we'd either let it slide and let things build, or we could get grumpy so we can actually start a confrontation and see about getting some results solved. I would much rather have the option to actually just talk, but I think I'll go for this. You call her inconsiderate ass. <laughs> you call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it. And it hurts her feelings. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plans from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. <laughs> you frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Very nice. Am I a wee tot? I feel like I'm a wee tot. I don't know if I am or not. But I mean... That's cool if I am. Can I see my shadow? I'm, I'm a shadowless figure. I mean, I kind of got a shadow down there, but... You know, it, it tries. Either way, this is one darn nice villa. I'm going to assume I live here. Great place to live, but uh, hey, it's all good, man. Hmm. Eight more miles still. Oh boy. Nineteen eighty-two. During the summers, you and Julie enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town that brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Mayhem runs away. May me move fuck the dog, Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You beat his goddamn face in. Yarn gets cut up. But you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julie asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids gets way late by work. Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut. 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Commuting back and forth 2,000 miles. I don't know about that, man. <sighs> it's a good job. Just see if you can make it work. You'll ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember that she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it, make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. You should probably see some help here. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they're worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. They both decide to keep it a secret for now. God, I look good. Hell yeah. <laughs> Mayhem is getting older. Uh, he's got a silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julie walk into the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julie goes back to the university. 
1987. Julie's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason. and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family and they're crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to break the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julie around the house. You count the seconds between two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care. A home. It sits with you for a couple of months. Tickling at my feelings here. Gosh darn, man. Okay. It'll, uh, it'll be fine. It's, you know, it's the 80s. We got all the types of experimental drugs going on. Hey! Are you going? Okay. Bye. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed first time you do, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. Shit. Uh, I... I can't do that. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. I look forward to those nights. One night you're stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point ten and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer's coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Oh boy. Well... I guess this is my job, huh? I mean, hey, hopefully the pay's good. But, I guess it's good to keep your, uh, mind and body occupied with just something. Yeah, it's, it's good to have a nice steady job. I'm gonna go do my steady job and hopefully things will be okay. Those are some nice mountains. Hey, look it. All right. It's working. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hi. Uh, don't mind me. Give me a second. I want to look at plants. Okay. Two Forks Tower. This is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Yeah, I, I'm here. Um, give me a moment, though. I have this. 
I, uh, see it's... I know you're there. Your lights are on. Oh. Now I feel like an asshole. Hello? Two forks? Come back. Pick up your radio. Okay. Oh, interesting. Um... Huh. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... What, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. You got him, ma'am. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. What did she do? Um, she absolutely is the rebellious sort. Okay, um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Yeah. Me. I'm going now. <laughs> Just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Thanks, Delilah. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. You got it, ma'am. Let me just plop this. Okay. All right. Let me just cook some uh, dish soap. Okay. Don't want to do that. Uh, cook, 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 drink, drink. Don't drink that. You know what? I think I'll just call you. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing what? Fourteen hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah. Jesus. I guess it's what six. 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- what the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Um, what's Are those west? fucking fireworks? Oh. Huh? Fireworks? Hold on a second, ma'am. I... I need you to confirm. Yeah. Do you see them? Yes! Jesus. Whoa. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Hell yeah. I'll... <laughs> I was about to say that. Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. That's a terrible code. I'm gonna be, uh, very, uh, sarcastic. Secure. Shut up. Okay. I like her. She seems very nice. Can I take this with me? Am I done? Am I done with that? Uh, I guess so. Can I open this drawer? 
I can. 20 sided die? Hell yeah! I'm gonna be a nerd. Roll it! I don't know what I rolled. <laughs> I'm sure it was good. Old paper, huh? Two orcs. Oh my god, they're freaking nerds. Perfect. Ah. Whoever used to be here. My kind of people. I'm really just throwing shit everywhere on accident. Uh, I'm sorry. Alright. I guess I'm getting out of here then. Alright, those hooligans. Trying to start fires on my fire watch. Hell no. That's my job. I mean... No, it's not, but my job is to stop them from doing it, so I'm gonna go do that then. Now I'm gonna make a sick ass paycheck. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, just head that way. Read the map? Oh man. Oh no. This is gonna go terribly. I like it. Okay. One, two, three, four. Keep that in mind. Wait, I don't, I don't need this. What am I doing? Gorge. This is darn pretty, though. I mean, as long as there's not a fire, it's gonna be pretty. If there's a fire, it's gonna be chaotic pretty, and which is... It's, chaotic pretty is a sort of weird pretty. It's like a succubus. You know? I don't want a succubus. Give me... Give me the, uh... Um... Uh, Melf? Yeah! Give me that! That's probably the safest one. Usually, anyway. I have such nice little stubby legs. It's great. Uh, alrighty. I don't know how far I gotta go, but I am definitely still going the right way. Is that the box I need? Probably. I haven't seen any other boxes. Yeah, you're totally it. What's up, dog? Oh, wait. Hey, dog? There we go. Easy. Ooh. Scribble it. Good scribbles. Ooh. Uh, Ron. Hey, man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Uh, found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. Wait, I can just cue to read? Oh. Oh, I don't need that nonsense. I'm good, man. I'm gonna just keep that note. Take this rope. Oh, this. This. Good. And yeah, this bar. I'm gonna eat that later. Oh, I just straight up ate it right now. Okay, well, that's fine. And I'll just take this. Hey, what's up, my new Stefano? <laughs> uh, Alright. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay. Uh, west. I guess we're still going the right way. Let me look at my map, actually. What is this looking like now? I got new shit on here. Alright, so I'm right there. I guess I'm just going there? Alright. Both of those trails lead the same way, but I should probably stay on the trail, otherwise I'm going to be attacked by bears. Jogging. <gasps> yes. Burning so many calories now. Hell yeah. Screw the path. I'm already off of it. I'm really bad at doing what I wanted to say I was going to do. Oh, that's just the... I thought it was like breathing. But no, it's just fireworks. Harmless, really. How could they? What was that? Oh, the rope hook. Whoops. Alright, here you go. Shall slide, it's steep. Oh, shall slide. Also is what it said. Alright, you. First time for everything. Do this in the Call of Duties. You can do it here. Doing something in a video game is the same way as doing it in another video game. Okay. <sighs> Welcome to the afterlife. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Is that how you spell that? Christ's sake? I thought you were supposed to do Christ's sake. Have I been doing it wrong this whole freaking time? 
That's 26 years of having to make up for a typo I probably made like at least four times in typing. Weird. What's this? Old climbing gear. Eh? Eh? Yeah, that's a little thingy, alright. Hmm, alright. I guess I can go down there later. I gotta go stop these freaking fireworkers. Fireworkers. That's that's a thing. Report the meadow? Alright. Hmm. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Dunno. Just stopped coming out. They all died. Of course that's what happened. Is there more reporting? I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Okay. Probably that way. In fact, I'm almost positive. Well, I want to see. Yeah. I'm going to do a little bit of exploring of my own. Raccoon. Um, there's a critter out here. A raccoon. I can't understand you. <laughs> because I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. All right, raccoon. It's okay. I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna make you my little slack cooper. Let's go. Pears, pears, pears. You bitch. Yes. <sighs> Are you okay? You didn't just have a stroke, did you? No. Do you smell burnt toast? <laughs> no. Then what then? I'm doing a crossword, and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, pears, pears. The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. Thanks. <sighs> there goes my plans for the afternoon. Thanks, Delilah. You really know how to help a guy feel welcome in a little forest area. Jerk. Oh. Um. How do I do that in every fucking game I play? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> hey, beer can. Beer! Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feet away. Yeah, let me just clean these beer cans up. Not sure what I'm doing with them. But, you know, anything new? Oh. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What, you don't like a cold musk while light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. Yeah, dude. People who litter in the freaking nature like this, you're a dick. But, I mean, like, if you go piss in an alleyway, I don't give a fuck. Sometimes you gotta just do that. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Well, fuck those guys. They left beer everywhere. They can't do shit. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Well, I'm taking this with me. Don't mind me. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Ugh. Well, confiscate him. I'm just doing my duty for the Civil Forest Union is picking up all this here and campfire going to start a fire? Is that what you're doing today? Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? These people are stupid. Hey. Hello. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. All right, if they're cultists, oh no. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. 
<laughs> All right, you people. Oh, no. Uh, there are uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? Yes. Ah, these nudist hooligans. All right, you whippersnappers. Oh no, there's two ladies. There's a. Uh, oh. Yes. There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone. But there's, you know. Two. Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. This job is hell. Ladies! I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. Hey! Hey! Stop it! You're drunk! Drunkards! God damn it! Don't pull any more shit or you're fucked, alright? Another firework, and it won't be your stereo Iraq. Oh, fuck you, psycho. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. You'll fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. Yeah, get the fuck out of my woods. These are mine. Dinguses. I don't care if you're freaking naked and you got your jiggly bits everywhere. Hey, that go okay? Hmm. I might have got a little hot. What's a little hot? Some of their personal property took a swim. Ugh. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with him, though. Seriously. No problem. I'm trying to pull that. Jeez. Whippersnappers thinking they can get away with potentially causing forest fires. Be like, oh, he's just a creep. We don't gotta listen to what he has to say. Nah, man. I know what the heck I'm talking about. This is my first day on the job, and I know more than you even think you know. Gosh dang it. Whew. Anyway, where am I going here? Well, I don't even know where I am. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh, I'm right there. Hmm. There's another cache over there. Maybe I could go check that out. Yeah, I'll go do that. Let's go, buddy. Just have a little jog through the forest. Hopefully I don't see them again, otherwise I'd get kind of awkward. Have to pretend I would out and see each other and... Ooh. I don't want none of that nonsense. Ooh. Uh, hmm? Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake? Like diphtheria or consumption or... <laughs> consumption? Not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia, maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. That, now you're just being mean. But okay, you're allowed to be you if you want. That's your personality. You're kind of a, you know, spiteful little dick now. I understand. I've been through that. I can't open this, I can. These are not the codes. These are terrible codes, by the way. Hello, beautiful. Ah! Hello, beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> Please. There we go. <clears throat> Run. Got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say? Though, budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in the Wapiti? Oh, freaking sheriff, man, isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. Probably ever did it. Wish he would have been there. I guess he must have got hung up. Dave, P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Professionales is Italian. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you. 
actually lied. I honestly did know that. But who needs to know that I know that? This is a book. This is the Fourth Estate by Richard Sturgeon. Great, great book. It's uh, well, it's about stories. Ah. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University of Eastern Colorado. I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. <laughs> you know, you're not wrong. Wait, I, I was just complaining about people littering. My bad, this is fucked up of me. Gosh darn it, here you go. Get, get back in there. God, come on buddy, you can aim better. There you go. Good. Good. Let me look at this map now. What do, uh, what do we got? Alright, all the way up there. That's what PD Meadow. But I gotta get back to my lookout, which is over there. So I can just go through here. I can go check out that other cache. Alright, that's fine. It's getting dark though, so I should probably hurry, or I'm gonna die. If I know anything about being in the forest at night, that's when the serial killers come out. Or bear killers. Who knows? They could be anything. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? I mean, yeah. Uh, sorry, I don't really know what you mean by recruiting effort. Oh, after last summer. You know, budgets went through the roof, a lookout, and every lookout for the first time in 20 years. Last summer? Oh, come on, you're from Denver, not Delaware. This was national news for Pete's sake. Boulder. I'm from Boulder. Same diff. Hmm. So are you going to let me know what happened that caused this budget increase or what? <laughs> wow. I can't believe you don't know. I was a little preoccupied last summer. Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Oh. Yellowstone is like... What, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news? I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. Like the goddamn park can burn down again. I'm gonna die. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I'm in water. Did I? Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Boogie, 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 boogie. Ugh. I see my joke did not spark your sense of humor. I like her. Ugh. What, you're not enjoying our current conversation? Jesus. Oh my god, lady. The the arc of our budding friendship. How exactly are you in charge? Aw, Henry, that's a good one. Thanks. You satisfied? Yes. We're best friends now. Ah, cool beans. All right, what's in you? And then I gotta get the hell out of here. Hello, beautiful. Let's copy this here down. Good, good, good. And a flashlight. That's what I'm talking about. Aww. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh, I never actually reported the flashlight. Whoops. There's a horn or antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Whoops. There we go. 
Yep, I got a flashlight now. Ooh. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Obviously. Ooh. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! <laughs> Hello! It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? They go in, they never come out. <gasps> Hmm. Ah, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is. Yep. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe it's mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Yeah. I bless the rains down in Africa! Oh! Oh! That was cute. I enjoyed that. This is a cute game. This is really cute. This is so much freaking personality in this shit. This is, this is my jam. I'm down for this. Where the hell am I? Okay, I'm on the right track back. Just gotta go around here and I'll be fine. Yeah. It's also storming, so I, I need to hurry. Like, really badly. Cause... Oh my. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. <gasps> Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Hmm. So you say that, but I mean... I don't know. I'm not having any fun. Yeah, I am. Ah, well. I really hope I don't get killed. Oh. There we go. Okay. Well, if I get, like, I don't know, stabbed on my first night of the job, hey. Hey, you keep your lights on at night? I'm doing a crossword puzzle. I, I do a lot of crossword puzzles. Oh, cool. But, uh, yeah, if I get stabbed, um, I am not very good at my job. Shoot, which way do I want to get going here? Hmm. Oh, well, that's some... Am I at a fork? Not really. What's over here? Is this, like, a little lookout, or... Or what? Oh, screw that noise. There we go. Ooh. I feel like living life on the edge. <sighs> Excellent edge living, my friend. Henry. Let's go. I also like how you're wearing your little wedding ring on your little finger. It looks like your character in one of them Pixar movies. Yeah. I really appreciate that. It's very cute. Hmm. Well. Almost there. I guess I could try what's over here. If there is anything. There's a whole lot of no. Oops. Sorry. So I'm going to assume that this is sort of like squinting. 
Good thing doesn't really work like that, but it's fine. Alrighty. The big one. Whew. Okay. No Wendigos yet. closed anymore oh really yeah i took care of the black path um it was backbreaking but you know anything for the service well thank you anytime i am a helper of the people don't mind me i am the coolest cat you'll ever know what is this oh so this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. God, you two are like best friends now. Um, so it's, uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well... Number one, at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. <gasps> cool! Hey! Baseball! From the party! Here you go! <laughs> Alright, cool. Well, I just touched a potty baseball. That's probably not very good. I should probably go wash my hands sometime. But, not right now. I want to get back in my little watchtower and just... Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Okay. I'm actually a little... unhappy with that. Alright, I can just whack him with a typewriter if I have to. Motherfucker! Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. The place is trashed. My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. I'm gonna have to fix the window. Tomorrow, Henry, you won't be cold. Okay, I put in a call. <sighs> okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I don't know. Who's out here? I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it, and now I've got to worry about who knows what out there. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Cool again. 